So I got my new boards in the mail. It's my next revision of the Coco 2 board. Um, and for those of you that are curious, um, that's what it's based on. Okay. Um, I chose blue because I thought it would look cool. You know, so I think I'm going to name my Coco blue uh, because of this. And, um, you know, I got five boards uh, for about $30, I think. It was just like $30, $31. But with shipping, it all came uh, to about uh, $47. So it's still under $50, which uh, is good. It's, it's cheap considering, you know, the size of the board. And so that's, what, $10 a board, roughly, you know, including shipping. So I've taken one of the boards and I've placed it inside the case and I've placed some components on there so you can see it's lined up just fine uh, and it, it, it lines up fine I do have one issue that I guess I should have caught last time and that issue is that um, the RF can is probably in just a little bit you know too far in so it's hard to get to the channel select switch you can do it but you know you, you got to do it with like you know a pencil or something it's just inconvenient now I'm not going to order new boards uh, for this I'm going to go ahead and populate this one uh, I don't think it's worth it uh, for me at this point but you know I'll update uh, the PCB so it does stick out a little bit more um, yeah, uh, so now, to show you the inside, if I can take this off with one hand, and this time, you know, all three screws line up, not perfectly, but it's good enough, I, you know, the, the holes uh, could line up better. But at this point, I, I don't care. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm going to change that because I might just mess that up. But it's good enough, you know. Um, it's not wiggling, you know. It's in place. I can insert a cartridge, you know. Fine. And so I'm, I'm happy with this. This this worked out. I'll be populating it soon, and hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll have a working board.